Good evening from a gloriously beautiful sunset tonight. Um, this vlog was a quick update, just a short one, just to show you what's going on around the sunset strip tonight. I have seen it busier, but the weather has been so unpredictable. Um, lovely Laura and Ben Santiago are about to go on at Cafe Mambo. I'm not going there tonight. I'm gonna to catch up with my friend. I've been down the sunset strip, I've been walking around, I've been bumping into many subscribers. A couple of people from Czech Republic, a couple of people from Slovakia, and surprisingly somebody from Russia blows my mind you know normally i get it from the uk and ireland but these countries like there's people sitting at home watching me still still will never get used to that um yeah i nearly agreed to go into prague i uh, met some two djs that come over quite regularly and uh, bumped into them so i'm gonna go have dinner with them another day maybe i'll do an interview with them and um, tonight's vlog i'm gonna meet my mate i want to have a chilled one so the madness that is going on down in the sunset strip no longer really suits me. I want a chilled one, so I think we're going to go to Alayun um, and go and have some food. And then after that, I'm not sure what we'll do, but we'll have a. It's going to be a short enough vlog, but yeah, you get the drift. You watched enough of them, okay? So let's go that way now. So as you can see that was a short walk from the Sunset Strip. The restaurant is right here behind me. As always I'm waiting for my mate. So yeah I don't want to go in there alone. I'm just going to wait for about five more minutes. I don't like waiting guys but we're going to have to wait. The sunset wasn't as planned. I mean you can never predict the weather can you? Sunset was still beautiful. Skyline incredible and look at this for a boat. One day guys one day I'll dream of owning a boat. The old saying is you should never have a boat because you'll never have money. Well, I never have money, so I'm never going to have a boat. But if you guys keep liking, subscribing and watching these videos, maybe one day I'll have a boat. Very much doubt it. Anyway, enough talking. We're going to go inside the restaurant. I think I'm going to opt for like a salmon or a steak today. As I said, with my skin in the last few videos, I'm sticking with a meat diet. It's been working really well and uh, I am no longer red. So in fact, I have got white skin. Normally, I am juicy red like the sunset. But let's go in, enough talking. That, my friends, is a wrap. Steak was beautiful, nice chilled night. It was in order. Uh, Zach had the lamb, by the way. I wish I had the lamb. Apparently that's one of the most popular meals on the menu. Um, so yeah, we'll probably pop down to a little bar and have a, another quiet, sort of relaxed drink. I think this is a bit more of a relaxed vlog. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens next. Guys, that was fantastic. Adam, good to see you. I've known Adam now for how long? 14 years? About 14 years now, yeah. 14 years. You're the manager in here? Yep. The manager, this is the man to come and see. Um, what's Alayun? And um, basically it's a very new restaurant. Yeah. Um, because it's new, we don't do any minimum spend. There's no time limits or anything on the table. Yeah. Uh, people can just yeah, you can walk in. Yeah. You can also book online. And if you want to reserve a table, stick it one on the front, you can come in. Uh, we're open every day from 12. Wow. Uh, the food's on 12 till 12 at night. Yeah. And normally to reserve a table, it's just like 10 euros a person. Oh, perfect. And so then, I didn't actually know that. Hey, but well, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like a, all it is, it's a deposit. Um, you can also um, pay online. I think I think it's 50 euro, but it's not a fee. Yeah, it's yeah. It's just a deposit. So, so like, would... example, if you pay like 50 euro and you dinner at 60 or it you just pay tenner on the night oh yeah so it comes off well i had an amazing steak zach had the lamb good yeah the, the lamb yeah is, yeah, yeah the you lamb did, is our signature dish yeah. basically like uh, one of the main chefs in here he's from morocco and he predominantly he worked in uh, doing weddings yeah so his signature dish for the moroccan weddings was the moroccan lamb which he yeah, brought yeah, yeah. here well zach rates it highly 
I'm going to go, I think we're going to pop down to the bar next door. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for a good one. If you do watch this, you're coming over to the closings, pop in. You know where it is. Yeah. I'll show you I'm where Adam. it is. This is Adam. Say hello. Definitely say hello. Uh, mate, Perfect. take care. Thank, no, you, thank very you very much. much. See you later. See you later. Just like that, the weather is terrible today. So last night we went to a bar called Bamboo. Uh, we had a couple of drinks, bumped into a friend I haven't seen for uh, a long time. Uh, someone that I was here in in my first summer in 2010. But yeah, the rain is with us today. It's due to stay for uh, three days, apparently. Um, all the boats have been canceled, but on the plus side, all the bars and restaurants around town are absolutely packed because there's nothing else to do in Ibiza in the rain. Um, people always ask me to make a video about what to do in the rain in Ibiza and I generally don't really know. As an Irish man, the old saying is, that's a day for the pub. Um, you've probably seen in my vlogs that I'm actually not drinking, I'm drinking non-alcoholic beers and that's probably why there's been so much productivity over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it is an evil thing, alcohol especially here in Ibiza. So yeah, it's something that I try to control. I can't remember the last time I had a drink. It's definitely been a few weeks anyway. So, uh, and I'm happy to I'm happy to keep it that way. Um, yeah, you can see there's not much going on. As I said, it was initially just a little update about the Sunset Strip. You know, the weather is unpredictable as always. So if we're gonna get three days, I think it's an orange warning. Um, Maybe I'll make a vlog about the storm when it comes. But for now, guys, over and out. I'll see you soon. Plenty more videos coming. Take care.